What's up guys, Rough here and I am back with another Genshin Impact video for you guys today. And today we are going to be diving in to the secret island on Genshin Impact. So if you look on the map, you can see that I'm out in the middle of the water and uh, it's not on the map. So there's a secret quest here and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So very simply, you got to get to the island first, right? So cue speed up time and explanation now. All right, guys, so what you want to do to get to the island is you want to go to the map and basically teleport to this waypoint here. Now, what you're going to do is we're going to run to the edge of this island, and what you're going to want to have in your party is you're going to want to have an ice character and ideally the main character to make this go by a little bit faster. So, of course, Kaya, I would say, is the most common. So just make sure that you have them in your party uh, because the main character is going to allow you to feed off of Kaya's ice bridge to make the ice bridge happen a little bit faster because trust me, this takes a long time and your patience will run thin. Uh, do not fall off. If you fall off, that's it. You're not going to have enough time to climb back on the ice bridge before it goes away. So be careful. Don't run to the edge. But uh, let's break out those characters. I'll show you this ice bridge is made. All right, so like I said, you're going to want to have Kaya and the main character. You're just going to go out to the water, use Kaya's ability to make a bridge, and then use the main character's ability to extend the bridge. It just makes things a little bit faster. That way you don't have to constantly wait for Kaya's cooldown and you can kind of cycle between the two characters. So just keep doing this until you get all the way out to the secret island in the in the distance and boom, you're there. One eternity later. Now that you hate yourself and you're on the island, you go and you talk to the Ravage Carving and it's going to, you know, Talk about stories and all kinds of stuff. Paimon's going to be like, I have no idea what I'm saying. So let's look around and try and find some clues. So, of course, you're going to notice there's some chests. There's an animoculus there, which is gone because I already grabbed it. And there's a precious chest down there in the water, but I already got it. So grab those. You know you don't want to miss it. And you're going to run right over here to this area. And as you can see, we got some rocks to break. So just break the rocks, and you're going to find the ragged notebook. Now, the Ragged Notebook is going to have a bunch of stuff written inside it. So if you need tips for this too, just click the start button, go to your inventory. And uh, once that loads, you're going to go over to your little quest area. Scroll down and it is the raggedy looking paper. I wouldn't really call it a Ragged Notebook. I'd call it Ragged Paper, but it is what it is. So you could read this. You could not read it. I'm not the lore police, so I I'm not here to, to read this out loud to you guys or make your lives complicated. So very simple just go up here and we're going to change the clock to 2 a.m why because the paper and the raggedy notebook said so so <laughs> just click the start button go over go to your time and uh set it for 2 a.m and then you'll be on the next step of the mission all right so now that it's 2 a.m talk to the ravage carving it's gonna say some stuff again i'm not the lore police so, you know, do, do what you want to do. Uh, but use your thing and you'll see this, uh, you know, your sense, I should say, not thing. And you'll see that it's like, hey, come over here. So you're going to go over here and you're just going to follow it. Now, again, make sure you have the main character because you need to blow it away with wind. Uh, it, you actually might be able to use more than a uh, different character and not just the main character. But you can see it right here. Let's actually find out. Boom. Yeah. So you don't need the main character. You use any wind character. But that is one of them. And now you're going to look around for the rest of them. But lucky for you, you don't have to look around for it because I know where it is. So <laughs> we're going to basically run over to this other side of the island here. And it's going to be right out there in the water. So as long as it doesn't change, which I don't believe it does. I'm pretty sure it's stagnant for everybody. It's also a great place to get sun crabs, by the way. <laughs> they just keep popping up. So you just keep grabbing them. Um, but, you know, pull it up and you'll actually see... Or it won't be there at all unless it's between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. So definitely make sure you guys do that. But, uh, you know, as you can see, it's right here. But you can't really reach it unless you have somebody with ice on your team. So just bring out Kaya and you'll be able to do it. So once you have Kaya, just make a little ice bridge and break out your main character or whatever wind character you have. And boom, wind cluster has been dispersed and it's time to find the next one. Now it's time to go hunt down the other two. So we're just going to go this way right over here. And I recommend towards the end, make sure you switch back to your fighting party. Of course, if Kaya's on your party, then you're good to go. But if he's not, uh, you're going to be wasting a lot of time that you're not going to want to waste. So you just swing over here and again, break out your main character or whatever win character you have. 
disperse the wind. That's going to be your second one. And then the other one is going to be up there. So you're just going to swing over here. Not fall off the edge because, uh, you know, that'll probably make it slower. But, hey, it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. And uh, same thing with the, you know, main characters. You can make that work. But I'm lazy because I have Venti. And I'm just going to fly and climb up there. <laughs> but, you know, get up there however you got to get up there. It doesn't really matter. And disperse that other wind. And that's going to be number three. Now, as you can see... What does this do? Well, it's telling you to scatter and summon some things. A boss fight is about to go down. So change your party to your fighting party. So basically just jump down here with your wind character and you're going to see that you're going to attack this. Once you attack this, the boss fight starts. So let's get into it. And again, don't mess up your fighting party right before the fight starts because I don't have Lisa leveled up at all. Yep. It ran away before you could kill it. So you got to go hunt it down now. Now make sure you have enough health because as you can see, if, if you swan dive like that, you do still take damage. So you're just going to go in. You're going to take out these guys. Um, but this is where you got to be. So once we're done beating them up, then it's time to commence this mission. All right. So when you read this, it's basically just telling you time. So it's pretty much just saying, yes, change the time back to 2 a.m. And then you're basically going to do exactly what we did before. You're going to travel travel you're gonna time travel the 2 a.m and then once you're at 2 a.m it's gonna have you go and disperse the wind particles again and once you get the wind particles dispersed well then the boss shows up and you beat it up again <laughs> so basically just go around it's gonna summon these guys every time so keep that in mind uh if you have it bring multiple winds because obviously you want it to wait for the cooldown but it's not really a huge deal but once you do that it shows up, but you got to beat these guys first. So let's take them down and then go from there. And don't forget to heal before the fight because these things can get a little bitey. Now, once they're dead, attack the last wind and then it's boss fight time. After it's dead, I feel like the rest is pretty explanatory, but you could talk to Mr. Henry Morton. Uh, he's just like, oh my God, did, how did you do that? And you just go through, you tell him all the details on how the riddle was solved. And uh, that's about it. Yeah, just literally finish talking to him and boom, you completed the quest. You get 60,000 more, some Primo gems and more. But uh, I hope that that video helped you guys out. Uh, that, honestly, I would say the most annoying part of the quest is getting to the secret island to begin with using the ice pattern. But it's one of my favorite quests, like, already. Obviously, I just did this live while recording it. But, like, I really like the way it has you go from one island to the other. I think it was a really cool, you know, quest. And I hope they do more like that. But if this helped you guys out, be sure to click that like button if you're new here and you like the content, click that subscribe because I got a bunch 
more Genshin Impact videos coming to the channel. And if you guys want more videos, let me know in the comments what other videos you'd like to see me do, and I will do my best to get them made. But seriously, thank you guys so much for all the continued support, and I'll see you in the next Genshin Impact video. Later.